Live from New York, it's The Cube. Covering Inforum 2016, brought to you by Infor. Now, here's your host, Dave Vellante. Welcome back. D. Shah is here. He's the president of AVAP, an Infor partner. We're going to talk a little bit about partnerships, the ecosystem. D. Raj, welcome to theCUBE. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So AVAP, tell us about AVAP. You made a big bet on Infor a while back. We did. Talk so, about the company. Absolutely, so AVAP's a professional services organization. We're a system integrator, uh, largest system integrator for Infor, uh, serving over 250 customers. Um, but it started as a single individual 10 years ago. And there's two parts to our story. The, the first part really was between 2006 and 2011, where we started growing and we were looking for our identity, and we had multiple businesses. Uh, you know, we had Oracle Staffing, Lawson, we had a MicroStrategy business, and then in uh, December 2011, I still remember uh, listening Charles speak, because Infor had just acquired Lawson, and I had the opportunity to listen to their vision, and there were two things that resonated. Uh, one was vertical focus because the industry really is uh, cluttered with a lot of enterprise software providers that do the one size fits all. And the second was software that is beautiful. You know, we live in the iPhone world, that became obvious in the year 2000, and here we are, 15 years later, there's still forms-based software that dominates the industry. So we made the bet in December that we're going to shut down all the other business and we're going to focus just on Infor. And that's translated for us significantly well, making us one of the largest system integrator and exhibitor here in Forum today. You know, it's interesting, usually when you hear a, a company say, all right, we're going vertical, you think niche. You yes. think small TAM, um, hard, hard to scale, Somehow this company has figured out a, a, a model uh, to, you know, right? Because every software company in the world is going out there building platforms, Correct. horizontal, publish an API, get a developer, yeah. you know, yeah. a community going. Infor's taking a, a different approach. You're saying that appealed to you. What gave you confidence that actually the market was going to be big enough and it was going to allow you to sustain your business? You know, it really started with Charles. You know, his brand and his pedigree of what he's accomplished. He was the architect at Oracle, prior to that what he did at Morgan Stanley, and then his you know, career in the military. So it really was his vision and having a leader like that. That's what was missing in our ecosystem in Lawson. And then the leadership beyond that. Duncan, Pam, Stefan, and all the sales leader vertically focused that came in. So they not only talked, but they actually put action behind it. You know, as you probably heard every speaker say, they put in like close to $2 billion in software investments. That's a significant amount of money. Mm. to put in. So, so talk a little bit about what's going on here at Inforum with AVAP. You got, you know, announcements, customers. What's yeah. The, what's uh, the word? A lot of things going on. You know, there is, uh, this is, we're a gold sponsor. Uh, we uh, just celebrated our 10 year anniversary. So in celebration of that, we had a party yesterday for our customers where we had 400 people. The excitement is unparalleled. We have uh, 20 sessions, but the thing to note is we have nine of those sessions with customers, where customers are talking about their experiences going into the cloud, how they're taking into the vertical strategy, how they're excited about the next release of financials. So that's where we're really focused. So talk a little bit more about your strategy as an SI, because I always, yeah. I always joke, the, the big SIs like to eat at the trough. You know, yeah. they look for the big ERP, three-year projects, right? And so, it, but then you have Infor saying, you know, we're doing all that last mile hard yeah. work, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're going to the cloud. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about infrastructure. Yeah. Just get it from Amazon, for yeah. example. So, Again, so w when you see that, yeah. uh, it's a different model than the traditional SI model. It is. You and embraced it. We did, and I think, uh, you know, thank goodness that they're that big and they think that way because none of them are here. And it gave us the opportunity right. moving from a, a small five by 10 booth into one of the biggest spaces here on the floor. So um, I think that will happen. It's a progression of time. It's been played out in every ERP. You look at Workday or you look at other companies, uh, none of the big SIs moved into it because they want to see the vendor come past that first mile. And that's what everybody's waiting on and that's where you'll see consolidation happen and we're betting that that will happen. Oh, the there's no years. doubt it's going to happen. The big yeah. guys are going to come in and say, yep. we're going to try to buy you. <laughs> yes. It's, it's going to happen. You've seen it in other ecosystems. You know, this, I don't know if you follow the ServiceNow ecosystem, is, is similar, right? Yes. You just saw CSC and Accenture yes. make 
make big investments, you know, yes. to a couple companies that were, you know, there Absolutely. and saw the future and and w went ahead and and built up, you know, a really sizable 400 people at your event last night. That's that's it nice. was That's significant. It, it was a significant event. And one of the other announcements that we just made was we brought, and this is to indicate what Infor is doing, uh, and the name that's broadening, right? We went through a growth capital partner that we just brought in. We announced that at the end of May and a company named New Mainstream Capital. Highly reputable, uh, great success track record in the market. And we didn't do that for any other reason but to bring maturity and to help us increase that growth rate that we're going through. And their belief when they came in and say that we want you to continue this, we believe in Infor, that told us that there is a buzz happening. Because that's the first market that hears it and then you're going to start getting into the secondary which is the system integrators, the larger strategics. Well, you know, Know, four or five years ago, it was like, who's who's this company? Yeah, you know, the third largest. Well, uh, we get really that today. So four okay. or five years from now, we'll be sitting in ABAP, We'll be on the other side. And, and, and then, and then, year and a half ago in New Orleans, it was yeah. like, wow, they do that. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. And now today, yeah. it's you're seeing a, a real momentum. Yes, and energy and a lot of the investments starting to pay off. Now you're um, you have a strong business in healthcare. That correct? is correct. Um, so our business started in healthcare because of the loss and background. So today right. it's about 65% of our revenue, but it's increased dramatically from where it was because it was very point solutions that were ERP, and now it's moved into uh, some clinical data bridges, uh, serving workforce management, so several new bolt-ons that allow us to holistically service our customer base. Uh, the customer population is also increasingly changing. So one of the largest project we have going on is at the second largest health system in the country where we are doing an integration and consolidation of 208 of their hospital supply chain facility. And uh, they selected Infor as their software partner and AVAP as their system integrator over billion dollar corporations because they saw the partnership that we enjoy with Infor and the investments that we're making in healthcare. Well, and the, the healthcare industry is just going, talk about huge it, transformations. It is, yes. With, with electronic medical records and meaningful health and, you know, and just the, 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 the injection of technology into that business. Yeah. It's, talk about a business that's being transformed. I mean, it's it absolutely is, and a lot of it was driven by Meaningful Use Zero, Meaningful Use One, and we continue to see that trend, and right. that's where the product investments, uh, you know, healthcare traditionally always had the, you know, the stigma of being technology laggards, right? Multiple right. system, green screen, that's what you think. You still go to the doctor's office, you get a big piece of paper and you're hand scribbling every time that you go there. Uh, that's changing. That's really changing based on the investments. Cloud, take cloud as an example. Infor beat every other vendor and every other industry by taking over 50% of their new sales in healthcare into the cloud. That's a staggering fact yeah. that the market would never bet on, right? Right. So that's kind of the innovations well, of uh, course, that are driving. Was, oh, cloud, dangerous, yeah. security, blah, blah, blah. But you know, there's, there's no question that cloud is another you know, unstoppable you know, force. What about retail? We're hearing a lot this week about retail, Infor's making big investments, new business unit, what's your play there? You know, absolutely, I mean, that's one of our latest uh, uh, tie-up with Infor, and we're, I'm personally very excited about retail, and a couple of reasons there. One, because uh, in other industries, so we have a large healthcare, our second largest business is our manufacturing and distribution. Uh, about a third of our business comes from manufacturing and distribution. But all those industries, there are point solutions, and Infor has inherited a lot of the software in those industries. Retail, they're building it, they're transforming. They're taking advantage of big data, mobile, analytics, and cloud to come up with rewriting software, as you heard Duncan say, after 20 years, the retail is going to get a new software facelift. Yeah. So that's exciting to us because this is completely changing the game. And we've brought on board very experienced leader to lead our retail team. And we're going in, uh, we're starting in Predictix as one of the examples, Starmount as another example. Yeah, massive industry. We all, you know, we all know and love yeah. Amazon and understand yeah. well the, the impact it has had on the yeah. retail business. But I mean, we've been saying for a while now, you're going to see you know, the, the Amazon war room start to take effect, these yeah. retail companies that have a presence, yeah. 
that have a physical presence start using that as a competitive advantage. One of the barriers has been technology. Yes. Right? And, and the usability of that technology, it, and that's starting to change. Yeah, it absolutely is. And you know, over a period of time you see this cycle, so in retail we're at that cycle, the 20 year cycle. And that's going to be a great thing for Infor that nobody else can even play catch up to. And we're excited about that. All right, D-Raj, we have to leave it there, but I'll give you the last word yeah. on, uh, on, on your organization, your relationship with Infor, Inforum 2016, whatever you like. You know, I'm, the question I get asked the most is, uh, you know, D-Raj, what is the secret sauce? You know, the experience, the growth that we've explored is phenomenal, right? Inc. Magazine, five years in a row, fastest growing company. Infor's only partner of the year that was voted partner of the year four years in a row. But the one that gives me a tremendous amount of pride every night when I go to bed is the best places to work. So mm -hmm. we've been voted uh, the best places to work three years in a row. We have a tremendous culture and uh, the biggest thing I feel a blessing to me is you have the ability to work with some incredible people. People that are very motivated, hardworking, and believe in what Charles was talking just half an hour ago about changing the world and having happy customers. And that's really what uh, AVAP is about. Awesome, dear Asha, uh, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Right. Congratulations it's a on all your success. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Okay, keep it right there, buddy. We'll be back to wrap at Inforum right. 2016 right after this. I'm the Chief Financial Officer.